Hi everybody, this is a video review of the Seiko 5 um, automatic watch. Now, starting out, I just wanted to point out the excellent boxing that this watch will arrive in. Um, this, you know, the classic blue box from Seiko. Um, when you buy this watch, there is an included little pillow here. It makes a great display case on your desk. Um, just thought I'd point that out for anyone um, interested in it. Now, moving on to the watch itself, um, being an automatic watch, there is no battery, there's no quartz crystal, it's actually a mechanical movement inside that's driving this timepiece. Now, in the past, winding a watch was, you know, done by the rotating the crown around. Um, automatic watches, however, do this motion um, for you as you're wearing it, just by shaking a mechanism that'll show you in a minute on the back. Um, looking at the case material here, um, it's made out of what I believe is an anodized stainless steel. Um, there's kind of a matte finish on it, which looks really great in my opinion. Um, the crown is a bit recessed, and one of my um, only downsides to this watch is it is a little difficult to pull out. You're probably going to need to get your fingernail under there. But looking at the rest of the watch here, um, it's has a NATO type strap which uses a standard um, kind of lug pin there. That can be swapped out for the color strap of your choice. I know they sell some with stripes or um, whatever you might want, maybe leather. So you can be aware of that. The case itself is um, not too thick. Um, as you can see here, just a profile view. Um, I think it's the perfect size for, you know, everyday wear. It's not too bulky. It's, you know, kind of has a masculine appeal to it as opposed to something too, too small. Um, just a really great size and look overall to this watch. Um, now just looking at the face here. Um, you'll see right away the, you know, hours and minutes. Oops, sorry about that as well as a calendar display that has the date, um, day of the month, and the day of the week. This, um, believe it or not, includes days in Spanish and English. I'm not sure why that was so important, but it is in there. Um, and you'll have to set it to the right one when you get it, otherwise you'll be stuck in Spanish until you switch it over. But that's not very hard to do. Additionally, you'll see the dial sweeping around in fifth of a second increments rather than one click at a time, for example. This is a Timex I previously purchased. Um, this is a standard quartz watch, and it just takes once a second. You can even hear it if you're really quiet. Um, this one, it's a lot quieter as far as the mechanism, and if you listen closely, you'll hear kind of like a really quick ticking, which um, is kind of impressive to me. But again, sweeping around with a fifth of a second increment. Typically, that's a feature you'll see on much more expensive watches. Um, but you can have it for only $62 with the Seiko. <laughs> um, just taking a quick look at the back of the watch, another feature I really love about this one is the see-through case. Um, you can see the movement clicking there. Um, this big armature part is actually um, the winding mechanism. So as you're wearing it, walking back and forth, that's rotating around um, and actually winding the watch. Now, one downside to the mechanical watches is, unlike this one, which has been running for about a year now without any delay, um, they will run out of steam after about 24 hours of not letting it be wound. Um, so the two alternatives are to wear it every day, <laughs> but I like to every so often mix it up or maybe go with that one or when I'm running, go with a digital watch. Um, or invest in a watch winder which sits on your desk and just rotates it around mimicking that kind of motion. Those start at maybe $30, $40 online. They can be a nice desk accessory, but if you're not really serious, um, you can also just wind it every time you need to, um, resetting it back to the correct time and you'll be good for the day. Um, another nice feature of the face here that I didn't point out, um, you'll see all these little dots next to each number. 
um, additionally on the dials. Those are um, luminescent, so if it was to get dark all of a sudden, uh, or you go into a, you know, a dark room, um, they're still going to illuminate there. That only lasts for about an hour, I've found. If you're in bright sunlight ahead of time, maybe more. Um, but it's nice, you know, you, you're in your car or, um, you know, you walk into a dark movie theater, you're still going to be able to read your watch um, for at least a few minutes um, as well as see what time it is. So that can be quite helpful. Um, so as far as buying one of these, I really suggest checking out Amazon, who um, they have a Prime deal going on right now. Um, you can pick it up for $60, down from what they list as $185. Um, it's available on their site in black. Um, let's see. That is actually another black, uh, tan, um, and the blue I have as well, and green. Um, all for $60, $62, and that's also with Prime. Um, it's also offered in a metallic strap. I'm not a huge fan of the metal straps, but, you know, if you want that, um, also available $60. And I believe the next model up, um, I haven't really looked into what additional features are going to be there. Um, but that's going to be about $92, and you get... Uh, brown leather strap with that one. But for $60, this is a great watch. Um, I don't commonly see it in department stores. I really think online is the best way to pick it up, so I wanted to bring you this review just so you get a closer look at it ahead of time. Um, really all around fantastic watch. Um, as far as durability, I've worn it for about six months now and haven't really gotten any serious scratches on the face itself. Um, it's pretty hard glass. I don't think it's like a sapphire or anything of that caliber, which you typically find on the two $300 watches, which are really, um, hard to scratch. I did pick up a small scratch on the casing here. You can see it kind of, sh it's shiny right there. Not a big deal. And I, you know, I've had a couple bumps where I knocked into something and I was like, oh man, that's going to leave a mark. But surprisingly, um, no scratches so far, which I'm very happy about. So if you like this video, um, feel free to comment. I can reply if it's anything, um, <laughs> any kind of question you may have. Um, compared to the Timex here, which you can pick up for about $40 online, Timex Expedition, um, I really think it has a bit more quality, a bit more elegance. Um, the leather strap here you can see is decayed a little over time. Um, this watch does keep really great time, as does this one. Um, but really it's which, which style you prefer and um, you know why not find both for uh, about hundred dollars <laughs> either case um, it's the 5 series from Seiko this specific model is the SNK807 um, available on amazon.com check it out